Hey guys, I got a super great story here. The Super Hungry Dinosaur by Martin Waddell. Jack and Henry really like this book. Hal and his little dog Billy were playing in Hal's backyard when... Grrr, a super hungry dinosaur charged in. I'm hungry and I've come to eat you, roared the super hungry dinosaur. I'm small and eating small children is not really fair, Hal replied politely. Then I'll eat your mom, roared the super hungry dinosaur. No way, I love my mom, Hal exclaimed. Then I'll eat your dad instead, roared the super hungry dinosaur. I love my dad too, and I'd miss him, Hal told the super hungry dinosaur. Then I'll eat your little dog, Billy, roared the super hungry dinosaur. Billy was scared. Oh no, you won't, shouted Hal. Oh yes, I will, roared the super hungry dinosaur. Grrr, 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 arr, arr. Go for it, Billy shouted. Hal, got you, said Hal. Do you give in, shouted Hal. Grrr, growled the super hungry dinosaur. Do you give in, asked Hal. Arr, growled the super hungry dinosaur. Do you give in, asked Hal. Arr, growled the super hungry dinosaur. Do you give in, asked Hal. Grrr, sob. I give in, sobbed the super hungry dinosaur. Apologize to us and fix our backyard and promise not to eat people or dogs ever again, Hal told the super hungry dinosaur. I'm sorry gulped the super hungry dinosaur, and it cleaned up the mess it had made. Oh dear, I'm still hungry, the super hungry dinosaur sighed in a tiny little dinosaur voice. Hal's mom made a super hungry dinosaur supper, and the super hungry dinosaur ate it. Slurp, slurp, mmm, slurp, burp. Whoa. Thanks, thank you so much, the super full dinosaur said to Hal and Hal's mom. Come back soon, said Hal's dad. And the super full dinosaur ran off as fast as a super full dinosaur can go. Well done, Hal and Billy, said Hal's mom. That was great, son, said Hal's dad, and he patted Hal's head. And that's how Hal and Billy saved everyone from the super hungry dinosaur. I love that story. Hey guys, another cool story. Tiger Can't Sleep, ooh, by SJ4. Hmm. Cozy bed, time to sleep. But I can't sleep because there is a tiger in my closet. A tiger in my closet eating potato chips. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Shh, will you please be quiet in there? I'm trying to sleep, I tell the tiger. Oops, tiger is sorry. Tiger will be quiet, the tiger says. Everything is quiet. I try to sleep. Then I hear... Bounce, bounce, bounce. Hmm. Shh! Didn't you hear me? I'm trying to sleep. Will you please be quiet in there? Oops. Tiger is sorry. Tiger will be quiet now, the tiger says. I am just starting to doze when I hear kerthump, 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 kerthump. Ouch! I can't sleep because there's a tiger trying to do cartwheels in my closet and falling down. My eyes pop open. Shh! Please be quiet in there. I can't sleep, 
I tell the tiger, and no more cartwheels. You are going to hurt yourself. Oops, tiger is sorry. Tiger won't make another sound. The tiger stops thumping and ouching, and everything is quiet again. I try to sleep, but it's impossible to sleep when you have a talented tiger in your closet. Tap, 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 tap. Oompa, oompa. Boom, boom, crash. Boom, boom, crash. Boom, 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 crash. Shh. Tiger, quiet. You are driving me crazy. I'm trying to sleep. I don't want to hear any more noise. No tapping, no tuba playing, no drumming, not one more single noise. Oops, Tiger is sorry. Tiger will be very, very, very quiet, the tiger says. But I don't listen to the tiger this time. I take the drum and the cymbals away from him. I grab the potato chips, the ball, the tap shoes, the banjo, and the tuba. Now, no more noise. Hmm. I march back to bed and climb in. Everything is quiet. Maybe the tiger has finally stopped making noise. I try to sleep. Then I hear click clack, click clack, click clack. I can't sleep because there's a tiger turning the light on and off in my closet. Tiger! That does it. Stop! Don't make me come back over there. Oops, Tiger is sorry. Please, don't be mad. Tiger will be quiet from now on. Promise, the tiger says. The light stops click clacking. Everything is quiet again. I listen. I listen harder. I don't hear a thing. Everything is quiet for one minute. Everything is quiet. For two minutes. Everything is quiet for three minutes. I wonder what the tiger is doing now. Maybe the tiger is asleep. Then, why are you crying? I asked the tiger. It's dark in the closet. Tiger is scared, the tiger says. Can tiger sleep in your bed? Um, okay, I say. Tiger hurries out of the closet, runs across my room, jumps into my bed, gives me a big kiss, closes his eyes, and pulls the covers over his head. I close my eyes, too, and listen. I listen harder. I keep listening. I don't hear a thing. I don't hear any crunch, crunch, crunching. I don't hear any bounce, bounce, bouncing. I don't hear any kerthump, kerthump, ouching. I don't hear any tap, tap, tapping. I don't hear any oompa, oompa. I don't hear any boom, 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 crash. I don't hear any click, clack, click, clack, clacking. Boo hoo hooing. Everything is quiet. Now I'll finally be able to sleep. Suddenly I hear a noise coming from under the covers. It gets louder and louder. I can't sleep because there's a tiger snoring in my bed. Tiger can't sleep. I love that story. Thanks, guys.